guys, it's Sarah. The Chinese New Year is coming. And you know what they say, New Year, no waste. I know they don't say that, but they should. And I'm gonna show you a little recipe for using up stuff that usually goes into the bin. If like me, you've made your own pineapple jam this year for Chinese New Year, you're gonna have a whole bunch of these peels, cores, just off cuts of pineapple left. Instead of dumping these into the bin, let's make some tepache. I'm really looking for the echo effect there, like tepache, tepache, tepache. But New Year, no budget, unfortunately. <laughs> So, tapache is a Mexican drink that utilizes sugar, water, and fruit or fruit peel to make a really nice, refreshing, sweet, slightly fizzy drink. It's gonna be sugar, water, the peel of pineapple, and I'm just adding a little bit of flavor with ginger and some spices. So, we're using brown sugar to get that nice, kind of raw sugar taste. Now, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to dissolve the brown sugar. And the reason I'm using water from a filtered jug is because when you are doing any kind of natural fermentation like this, if the water in your city or your country is chlorinated, that can sometimes interfere with the natural fermentation. So we try and use a filter jug to take that out. Just stir this. Now I'm gonna take my pineapple cores and peels and just chuck them into this big jar. All of these are rinsed, by the way. I actually washed the pineapple before cutting it just to get rid of any dust or anything else that might be on the peel. But you don't want to wash them too well because it's actually the natural yeasts on the fruit and the outside of the fruit that kickstart the fermentation process. I'm also using some sliced fresh ginger and I'll throw in some dried spices as well some star anise and a few cloves just top it up with water to make sure you cover everything and we can fill up this entire jar if some stuff is floating to the surface you can just take a little bit of the pineapple peel and kind of crisscross it on top to form a little umbrella or shelter and then just take a little saucer or a weight and weigh that down because any bits of pineapple that bob up and float at the top if they're exposed to air they may go moldy so we want to keep everything really nice and submerged and now all I have to do is take a cloth and just tie it around the mouth of the jar this is an aerobic fermentation I know that's very confusing so it is not anaerobic fermentation but it is aerobic fermentation which means it needs to be exposed to air and that's why we've just put this little cheesecloth or a tea towel on top so that the bacteria that's in here doing the fermentation can get their fair share of oxygen so that they can get going they're gonna feed on the sugar so as it ferments it'll get less sweet usually people leave this for one to three days in a cool dark place not in the fridge but outside somewhere in the house that it's not gonna get too much sun or get too hot. So we'll check back on this in a couple days. Good luck, Matapachi baby. It's been two full days of fermentation for the tapache, so let's take a little look. And I've noticed like, okay, look, I'm gonna move it. Do you see how when I move it, there's so many bubbles just coming up? That's a sign of healthy, vigorous fermentation, which is what we want to see. So I'm just going to open this up. Whoa, it's very frothy on top. Ooh, it smells really nice and tart. It smells completely different. I'm just going to give this a little taste. Mmm, it's so good. It's really nice and tart and you can definitely taste the pineapple now. The reason it's a little bit sour is because the bacteria that's making the fermentation happen, it's feeding off of the sugar and creating acid, so it's got that nice tart flavor. I'm actually really happy with how this tastes, so I'm gonna go straight into the secondary fermentation. That's when I strain it, and I'm gonna put it into an airtight container instead of an open container. That way, the bacteria are gonna feed off of whatever remaining sugar, is in there and instead of creating acid, they'll create carbon dioxide so it gets nice and fizzy. So this tapache now goes for its second fermentation 
it can go anywhere from one to three days. So I'm just gonna check it tomorrow and just open it, see if it's fizzy enough. And when it's fizzy enough, it's ready to drink. I'm so happy about this. It's the best no waste experiment ever. So it's been two days of the second fermentation for the tapache and here it is. It looks a bit cold because I put it in the fridge. I want it nice and cool and refreshing. Let's open it up. Mmm! It's so, so yummy, honestly. The first day when I tasted the mixture, I was a little bit unsure how it would turn out but the pineapple peels and the core they've completely transformed what's essentially sugar water into something refreshing, fizzy, sparkling, sour, sweet, delicious this may have been a way to reduce waste but honestly this is the real deal so good